Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you as my pleasure as Mr. and Mrs. Timothy Voss. When you're a kid, you have a checklist of what you want your man to be like. And like, he's everything I ever wanted and then some. He really truly is. I didn't plan on being a bedside wedding, but that's what we got. But I said, yeah, I'll marry you. Of course I will. Was I feeling it was like, well, I'm doing the right thing, I know that. I wish I would have done it earlier. I look at him and I still see the man I fell I still see the man I fell in love with, you know, three years ago. I still see him. I look at his face and he's my Tim. A little bit more gray, but <laughs> He's still the man I love. Even in his darkest days, he thinks of me first. No one's ever done that for me before. And that's why they thought, the thought of even just the chance of losing him. I can't do it. I can't lose him. Sure you can. No, I cannot. In fact, I know I will never find a love like his again. I, I won't. I, I, I know I won't. There is no other love like his. I don't know how to say goodbye. I don't, I don't want to say goodbye. And if I have to say goodbye, I don't know how to do it. I don't know what, I don't know how to do it. This isn't how my, this isn't how our love is supposed to end. We're supposed to go to Hawaii. We're supposed to travel. We're supposed to we're supposed to be together forever. Sickness and health. I love you. That's the best thing right there. Being loved. <laughs> <laughs>